You big nuns! Well, hello, big nonces. It's me, it's Dog Bomb, it's Friday, and it's another indie review. Um, as you can see this week, I'm doing Terra, the legend of the Geosheen. I'll be honest, I don't really know what a Geosheen is. All I know is that this game's absolutely brand spanking new to me, and it's new to you. Um, and it's from uh, DigiPen, which is the Institute of Technology in uh, Washington. If you've never heard of DigiPen before, um, you've probably played Portal. That kind of came from there, from a team that made a game called uh, now Bacula Drop. That wasn't the same team who made this. Um, I've got a list of names in front of me. I could read them out, but I won't. Um, just click on the credits when you download the game. You can download the game for absolutely free. Um, but I will mention that uh, a guy called Datu Yogabrata, who is a game designer, um, designed this game, uh, which is a brilliant name. I've probably said it wrong, but I love his name. Oh, uh, and, and the, one of the programmers is called Lee Han Boon. That's quite a cool name too. Anyway, enough about the names of the uh, programmers and uh, games designers. Let's try the game. Stage one, the journey begins. Here we go. Now it's all built on uh, on on. Uh, I was going to say Steam. It's all built on their uh, source, the the source code. Legend has it. That's my voice, by the way. Not an artifact of immense power was created. It's not actually in the games. It was called the Geo Sheen. So don't get excited by the. However. It was abused. That's not very nice. Fragmenting into several shards. Scattered and lost throughout the land. Terra, a young sorceress, seeks them out. Dot dot dot. Um, as I was saying, that, that voiceover wasn't actually in the game. It was just me. Here we go. The journey begins. Falling down a steep cliff. Oh, I didn't actually read all that. You can pause it to read it yourself. So, W, S, A, and D moves this chick about. Health portion I picked up there, I think. Restores one health. Ah, oh, the health portion. Space to jump, right. So it's all keys. I'm not... Power up there, there's the one over there. It's all keys, um, mouse to, oh no, it's not all keys, right, so I've got to have a hand like that, and, ah, oh, look, left mouse, knack of that pots. It's stupid that really, because they're probably, you could probably keep loads of flowers in them, and there, there are absolutely loads of flowers around in the game, I don't know if you can see there, there's some nice purple ones, and click A to upgrade the fireball. Oh, what's that? Hello. Can I hit you? Nope. Um, you see, I'm not gonna... S I don't know if I should smash all these pots. Oh, there's things inside them. That means as much as I'd like to take one onto the antiques road show, um, I won't because uh, effed some of a fireball. Oh, look at that. I'll have your fireball in that pit that says fire here. And I've opened a door with the power of fire. Loads of pots to smash. She's got a very glistening wand. I do like um, a girl with a glistening wand. It's always a treat to see. It's like a big sparkler, isn't it? Look at. I wonder if I could write my name. Um, hang on. I want to try and... Um... Uh, no. No, I can't. To answer that question, no. If my name was Japanese, I probably could write it. Whoa. Move the mouse to tilt the world. Alright, so... Mouse 2. Oh, look at that! Very much a sparkler there, and I'm till. What I'm doing now, you cannot see me hands, but I'm holding down the right mouse button, and it's tilting the world. I think I opened that door. I don't know how, but I did. 
and I got a new high score. Well, it's probably just because it's my first score. Now entering the Lost Settlement. I'll read this really quickly. Abandoned right after the GeoCube was recorded. Nobody really knows whatever. And the people who live there not only trace really their really bones. Click the con. I didn't have to actually read it that fast because uh, it lets me just take my time and then click. But um, anyway, I've read it now. It, it says that people all died and shit, and uh, I have to save them. Father's map leads through this lost settlement. Hopefully, them bits there. I cannot actually read the two. Too quick. There's a lever. I've pushed it. Let's open the door. Mouse to tilt the world. Now watch. See, there's a lever up there. This is going to be quite clever. I hold down my mouse button. She gets a sparkle on. I tilt to the right. Are you watching? Look at that lever. Mad skills. Now I'm smashing some pots. And oh what was the button for the fireball? That that's a fireball symbol. Is it F? Yes it was. And it's not oh right mouse button, tilt it down. It's pretty clever this. I think it was supposed to be made by students. I hope they get a very good mark. And uh Ah, oh, that's clever. How do I, uh... Yes, I got it. Um... Yeah, I hope they get a very good mark if they are students, because this is, uh... Quite clever. Not quite as clever as, uh... Portal. But I bet they go on about that all the time, like, in class and that. Oh, it's not as good as Portal. Oh, I remember when I had students here and they made that game that just turned into Portal. That's what the teacher will say. But if you're these students, just say, no, no. Might not be as good as Portal. But did Portal have a sparkler? No. No, it didn't. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to think about this. I need to stand here to stop it from tilting back. There we go. Check it out. Yeah, just see, did Paul have a, a ginger chick with a sparkler? No, no it didn't. And then your, your lecturer or whoever marks it will be like, oh, alright, fair enough. Suppose yours has got more ginger sparkler chicks. I'll give you a few extra marks for that. Oh, look at this. I pop a fireball in here. And then I get me tilt on. It's like one of them mazes that you get out of a cheap cracker. I don't know if I'm supposed to touch this slimy thing here. I will. I'll touch it with me. Fireball. Ah, oh, it's afraid of fire. But it grabs victims, apparently. What's this thing here? I was never very good at these uh, tilty games. As you can see. Um, but I always used to get them in my crackers. Ah, what's this here? Balls. Explode into poisonous gas, afraid of fire. Alright, um, I've got it into that hole. Does that mean I have to move on? I'm moving on anyway. Smash these pots. Sorry, Antiques Roadshow. And now I spin this round. Look at this. Whee! Oh, it's all kicking off here. And now I'm going to run through this door before it falls on my head. Indiana Jones style here. Smash up some pots. Once again, I do apologise if you're a big fan of pots. Push this lever across, see what happens. Ah! So I have to stand in here. Do the little twist and vac. Or your fireball in that hole. That worked. Do another little twist and vac. Fireball in that hole. I like the way it tells me where the fireballs go with the little symbols. Um, in case I was too stupid to figure it out myself. Actually, I, I'm, I'm saying that like I'm high and mighty or something. I probably wouldn't know to chuck fireballs in them holes, I'll be honest. So, thank you, actually, thank you. Um, ooh. Is this a bit of a smash here? Can I push this? I want to push... Th no, no, I can't push it. I have to just... Uh, 
Do a little spin. There we go. Smash that bars that's rolling about. And now if I spin it backwards. There. Whoa, whoa. Oof. Oof. She hurt herself there, mind. There's a fireball now just lurking about. Oh, it's gone out. Now you have to be careful because you can go a bit here, wire. With the uh, gravity, I found out. Uh, the, the, the tilty thing. There we go, I'm in. Uh, it's actually making us feel a little bit dizzy. I'm um, all this spinning about. But I suppose that's just part of its charm. Look at this! The stuff falling from the sky. Oh, it's purple stuff. Don't touch the purple stuff. It's all steps and things, yeah. I am in really. I'm genuinely actually impressed by this game. The graphics are top notch. A little bit, um. A little bit dated, I guess. Just. But I'm being picky. I'm being very picky. Oh, look at this. I can go up there and get that fire thing. Top tip there. Go up there and get that fire thing. Yeah, I'm being really picky because I like the sparkles. Look at the spark. Look at all the sparkles that's going on. Honestly, there's no other game that gives you this many sparkles for free. I'm telling you. And look, you can make more just by pressing right button. Look at that. Look at how many. Sp look at that. Seriously, if I was on drugs right now, I could stare at that for days. And I don't mean the breasts. I mean the sparkles. Check it out. And a pink... pink is that pink or purple? A big wand anyway. I like to see a, a redhead girl with a big purple wand in her hand. Uh, anyway, next level. Through the ruins. I'll read this fast again. The after effects of the destruction of the Geoshin can be clearly seen in the ruins of places slowly pollen up and being reclaimed by the plants. By the plants. That's what all the big vases are for, you see. Oh, I'm missing that. The place has fallen up. Oh, the, apparently the place has fallen apart. That's all I read. And there's plant. Oh, look at this. I can press that button. Ah. Oh, I'll hold your fireball down and then I'll give it a bit of a tilt. I'll get me tilt on. And all these little things here have a bit of a hide. Get that in there. There we go. What a treat. Is there anything else to collect in there? Nope. Moving on. Smash up these vases. Anyway, as I was saying, this game is... How do I... Oh, it's a little rampy thing. Game's absolutely free. I urge you to download it and uh, try and get further than me. And you might actually, if uh, Paul's anything to go by, you might actually be playing the next big thing. I mean, I don't know if there's any cake at the end or some other annoying internet thing that people will quote for hours. I mean, the next, they might just quote, oh, sparkly wand or something like that. The sparkly wand's a lie. The ginger girl's... A lie. I don't know. Ah, things. Go away, you nasty. Um, but I'm sure they'll they'll think of something, something to quote endlessly, and it'll annoy the hell out of you. If something's there to quote, they'll quote it. Oh, there's another one of these puzzles, right? I'm gonna stand on that button. And I'm going to set away a fireball, and I'm going to tell you what I think about the game. Oh, hang on. No, that doesn't work. Set away a fi fireball. Stand on the button. Here we go. Um, anyway, the game's brilliant. I hope there's more of these puzzles. I think there is. I think there is. Because this is so damn clever. How I'm stuck now. Do I have to stand off the button? Yes, I do. The game's so damn clever. Look at this. There's buttons going on. There's fiery things going about in holes. 
There's red heads with big purpley ones. What more can you ask for, really? What's that you say? Absolutely free? Well it is. Click the link below, download and play this game. I'm going to give it a good old 9.5 out of 10. And if that doesn't get them a first in their degree course or whatever they're doing, I'm not really that bothered. Um, then I'm going to shoot myself in the actual head. Good luck guys. Um, download the game everybody else. And I will see you next week for another indie review. Bye for now. Hang on. Resume game. I'll put another fireball in. I'm going to keep playing this while I've gone. Anyway, bye for now. Go on then. You can go. Bye for now. Are you seriously still watching? Honestly, you can go, you know. I might I might have cut this video by now anyway, so... Um, I'm not going to say anything else. You might as well go. I'm just trying to get a ball in a hole. Go on. Get yourself away. And I'm in. Bye for now.